Have you ever pondered the profound symbolism woven into the fabric of the Bible? Today we dive deep into one of the most intriguing figures, the woman, and explore her significance in biblical narratives. In the beginning, Eve emerged as the first earthly representative of God's pure church. She was a reflection, a copy of the heavenly woman, the Holy Spirit Mother. The woman clothed with the sun and her heavenly eagle wings therefore symbolize God's true church first in heaven then on earth, and on. This woman however, could not represent the Christian church, as it was established years after Jesus' birth. On earth, she could only symbolize God's church, the Jewish, destined to bring forth the Messiah, fulfilling the promise made to Israel. But let's not forget that this woman was envisioned by John, in heaven. Primarily she represents the church of the firstborn, and only secondarily, the earthly Jewish church. As stated in Hebrews 12 verses 22 and 23, we are drawn to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God, the general assembly and church of the firstborn. Above the mercy seat the Shekinah, the feminine manifestation of God, made known God's will. The Holy Spirit took the form of a dove, and the Shekinah had wings. Those who acknowledge God thus find refuge under the wings of the Shekinah, the essence of God manifested in a distinct form or symbol. The biblical evidence supporting a feminine image in the Godhead continues to accumulate. The 12th chapter of Revelation verses 1 to 6 offers the next vivid prophetic image. A woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, a crown of 12 stars on her head, a great wonder in heaven. This woman, in conflict with the dragon was first seen in heaven, not on earth. These symbols therefore have heavenly origins. Their significance is etched in the divine reflecting the eternal struggle between good and evil, the celestial narrative of God's church and the promise of the Messiah. In summary, the woman in biblical narrative symbolizes God's church, both in heaven and on earth. She represents the church of the firstborn, the Jewish church, and the feminine manifestation of God. She is an embodiment of divine struggle and divine promise, a symbol as intriguing as it is profound. The exploration of her significance offers a deeper understanding of the biblical narrative and its heavenly origins. The understanding of this woman's identity can be overwhelming, but let's delve into it unraveling the layers of meaning to bring the story to life. At first glance one might think the woman represents Mary, the earthly mother of the Messiah. However, this interpretation doesn't hold up. The woman is in fact a symbol of the Holy Spirit Mother in Heaven. She reveals her Son as the Redeemer of Heaven and Earth, a revelation that leads to Lucifer's downfall and eventual banishment to the Earth. As Revelation 12:13 tells us, And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the Earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. Thus, the narrative of this woman starts in heaven and extends to earth as her likeness is mirrored in the creation of Eve, the feminine image of God. Now let's tackle the idea of the ever-living church. Revelation 12, 1, 6 clearly depicts the woman clothed with the sun and under attack by the dragon while still in heaven, before the creation of Adam and Eve. This means she cannot represent the New Testament church as some might argue. Clothed with the sun is a symbolic phrase. It represents the church, depicted as a woman, clothed with the Bible as Psalms 119, 105 suggests. The moon under her feet reflects the celestial light from heaven, illuminating the darkness caused by Lucifer's original sin. Symbolically attired with the sun and the moon under her feet, the woman represents the true church, possessing a sanctuary composed of two divine laws, moral and ceremonial. This woman, or the church, keeps the commandments of God and has the living spirit of prophecy within her. She is her only hope, strength, and deliverance. As Isaiah 52, one advises, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. The woman is saved from Satan's wrath by being translated to Mount Zion but Satan wages war with her remnant in the lands of the Gentiles, who are called out of Babylon the Great, an allegory for worldly corruption. To summarize, the woman in Revelation 12 symbolizes the Holy Spirit Mother in heaven, not Mary. Her story begins in heaven and extends to earth. She is symbolically clothed with the sun, representing the ever-living church upholding God's commandments and the living spirit of prophecy. The woman is saved from Satan's wrath by being translated to Mount Zion, but Satan continues his war with her remnant in the lands of the Gentiles. 
This exploration of the symbolism in Revelation 12 offers a deeper understanding of the text and its spiritual implications.